Hi, this is Priti Moyal, and we're here at the premiere of Dangerous Game. Keep it locked, keep it real, and dare to dream. And on behalf of the 88 crew, I hope you enjoyed the interviews. Thanks. Hello, this is Brittany from the 888 crew and we're here at the premiere of Dangerous Games and we are here with the lovely Amar. Hello Amar. Hello, how, how you are doing? You? Very good, thank you. Looking very dapper today. Thank you very much. I try, try. It took me about a week to come up like this, but you know, it was there, there eventually. Lovely. And you know what? This movie has got everyone talking because of its, its paradox between football and the mafia. Indeed. I mean, what do you think about those two elements of the movie? Yeah, really happy, really happy. You know, we've come up with the idea from script to screen in four months. So, you know, it was the idea and we've got people talking, that's what we want. As low budget filmmakers, we want people to talk and that's what we wanted, so we've got it, it's good. It's had thousands of reviews and it's been really well acknowledged as well. Indeed. So it's a privilege to be able to interview you as no well. And in terms of the film itself, for anyone that doesn't know about the film, what's the general gist of it that you can let people know? Basically about a championship footballer who gets promoted to Premier League. And me being his best friend, I influenced him in the wrong way and introduced him to the Russian Mafia. Okay. They tell him to throw a game and he scores a muscle memory kicks in, he scores the best goal of his life. So then he owes the Russian Mafia four million pounds in four weeks. Oh wow. And the rest happens from there. Okay. So is it advocating crime or is it not? No, no. <laughs> You've got to watch the film. It sounds a lot more harsh than it is, but there's a big twist at the end and I think that'll uh, put people's minds at rest it's not it's Absolutely. not full of action and swearing and you know it's a humble film it's whether you're 15 whether you're 50 you can watch it so that's amazing that's, that's the main thing that's amazing it seems like i really want to go in the cinema and just watch it right now because i've heard so much great things about Thank it as you. well and given your background as a british asian um and getting getting into film i mean what inspired you i've been acting for 17 years so for me it was a pedestal to make my own films yeah to push myself into the spotlight and you know because I'm an British Asian I'm not getting the lead roles yeah. I'm getting stereotyped from being a doctor to a terrorist or something in that caliber so for me it was making my own stamp doing different roles yeah. and just excelling my career further and further and now on my fifth film so that's amazing that's what it is so you're an inspiration to all those up-and-coming wannabe film actors yeah and I say do it go push community. yourself and do it and don't hold back and don't go with your passion go with your heart and honestly you'll succeed in the end that's amazing it's an absolute honour to meet you Amor Pleasure. and thank you so much for your time not a problem on at all on behalf of the Triple Eight crew I'd like to say thank you so thank yeah. you thank you very Bless much you.